Hey everybody, welcome to the Jaden Stitches Show. It's late August and it's time for a calendar blanket update. We're on the run today and I thought we would do a little bit of adventuring in the great outdoors while I show you how our blanket's coming along. So that's everything up to August the 22nd late August and just a reminder I always take the 10 a.m. temperature and I'm not allowing for things like humidity if I was then just about every square this summer would have been bright red <laughs> we've had a really hot summer but the 10 a.m. temperature and no humidity equals what I consider to be a slightly more realistic temperature so I, it's not that I picked 10 o'clock for any specific reason, I just sort of arbitrarily picked a time of the day, 10 o'clock was what it was, and I've gone with that time every day so far. If I was to do this blanket again, I would probably try something like um, maybe the high of the day and the low of the day, and maybe certain weather experiences, like if it was really, really crazy rain, or if we have really, really intensely dry heat. I think I like the idea of the low high too. But so far, I really like where this blanket is going and I'm very interested to see what the fall is going to bring. So I thought I would answer another quick question that I get a lot about blocking. Um, a lot of people ask, you know, do you block your squares before you join them or do you join them and then block the entire blanket? It's sort of up to you and it depends on what's going on with your squares. So for example, here I'm doing a join as you go method. So I have to make the square and then I finish the square as I join it as I go. So I'm definitely not going to be blocking anything. Um, but if you've made up a whole bunch of squares and some of them are like a bit tight and some of them are a little more loose and you're worried about how they're going to look or if you're going to have trouble putting them together, this is an, a sort of a situation where you can openly block your squares before you put them together. So if you need to loosen up some of the tighter ones, just steam them, block them a bit, pin them down, let them dry, and that, that should loosen them up and make them a little bit bigger so that you can sew them all together with a little bit more ease. Having said that, if all of your squares line up nice and neat and they're all roughly the same size, don't bother blocking until you've got the whole thing stitched together and bordered. So don't bother doing any steam blocking until you've got the whole blanket made. That way the whole blanket can then move together and you can pin it into place after you've either washed it or steamed it and it'll sort of take on the shape of the overall blanket that you want. So usually it's best to do all of your steaming and blocking after you're done. <laughs> but, like I say, if you do have the odd wonky square, you can steam those before you attach them. And that's it for this week, everybody. Thanks so much for dropping by and spending some time with us. I hope you like this calendar blanket update. We'll do another one in a couple of months. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.